you are saying to the human race, for the first time, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. Former military intelligence officer turned whistleblower David Grush telling News Nation that a sophisticated conspiracy exists in the bowels of the U.S. government to keep the truth from us that they know about the existence of aliens. Now, our guest, Garrett Graff, also believes that the government has something they're not telling you, but he takes it a different way. He's the author of UFO, the inside story of the U.S. government's search for alien life here and out there. Garrett, long time no see. It's good to see you again, brother. How you been? It, it, it's great to be back with you, Chris. And it's, uh, you know, I've always been uh, a fan of your work. You do the job the right way. And I'm not just saying that because I agree with you. I am open, but it is hard to believe that the U.S. government has proof of alien life and they haven't told us. You say what you find equally troubling is a different kind of conspiracy of secrecy, that there's a cover-up of what? Uh, so I think that the UFO phenomenon is real. The UAP phenomenon is real. There are things out there that we don't understand what they are, that the government doesn't understand what they are. Um, but where the... You know, I've spent the last two years sort of studying this for this book. I've spent 20 years covering national security. And to me, what is actually more interesting and troubling as a taxpayer and as a citizen, as a journalist in this space, is I think that the government's cover-up at its core is not about its knowledge of UFOs, but about its ignorance of UFOs. And that it does not actually know what these things are. Um, I was actually launched on this book project by an interview that John Brennan, um, a man you know, uh, former CIA director, former White House Homeland Security Advisor, gave in December 2020, after his time in government, where he said there are things we're flying around up there that puzzle us that may end up constituting a phenomenon that looks to us like a new form of life. It's terribly tortured syntax. But I think mm -hmm. at the end of the day, John Brennan was telling the truth, that the government actually is as baffled about what this thing is as many of us are. And for regular people, what you know becomes the most precious commodity of what you decide to say and don't say. But that's not how government works. Government fears not knowing. And secrecy is most often fueled by ignorance than it is about what they want to conceal, as we've both learned over the years. So two things can be true at once. One, they're probably collecting a lot of stuff that's from other countries that they don't really want to know about what they have. And there's probably stuff that they haven't been able to figure out what it is. And they're even more concerned about that. What's your take? Uh, absolutely. Um, so th there are government cover-ups about its knowledge, the U.S. government's knowledge and understanding of UFOs and UAPs. You know, there are two very obvious cloaks of secrecy that exist around a lot of this information. One is the extent to which this is our own government's secret projects, uh, operations, secret planes that are being developed. The CIA actually went back and tallied in the 1960s that it believes as much as half of all UFO sightings in the 1950s were the development of the U-2 spy plane, which was a legitimate UFO at the time. It was an unidentified flying object to most, uh, you know, to the non-government people who saw it. Um, there's another cloak of secrecy that is some chunk of this is advanced adversary technology being tested against us. And the government, as you know, is very squirrely about what its sensors pick up and what it doesn't. Um, you know, what it finds, what it misses, what it records, um, you know, how detailed the information that we have on this is. But we know mm -hmm. some chunk of this is adversary technology because one of the things that the Pentagon has told us about its UAP, its reinvigorated UAP program in recent years, is that it discovered a heretofore unknown 
trans medium Chinese drone, which is to say a drone that came out of the water and transitioned to flight, which was not technology that the Pentagon realized China had. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.